What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we are finally here. Uh, if you guys caught uh, our video last week, we received these mystery GPUs. I'll go ahead and put a link in the upper right hand corner of the unveiling of these GPUs. And then we actually plugged them in to figure out what in the world they were. Uh, if you guys want the cliff notes and you want me to ruin it for you, I will. If you want to go ahead and pause the video and go watch the other video, go for it. So these are RX 570 4 gig cards. They were originally with these MSI heat sinks on them right here. Pretty dirty, pretty beat. And a very nice gentleman by the name of Anonymous Miner. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below. He went ahead and donated them to me, uh, exactly the way they are. And what these are is he removed the original heat sinks and look at these massive heat sinks, guys. Like complete overkill for this card uh, as it's only this big. And look at this, not even being like useful there, but look at this, look at the size of the heat pipes on this thing, the size of the heat sink, the amount of cooling. Look, even the back plate to help disperse the heat is crazy. So these are actually Arctic um, Extreme 4, NVIDIA AMD graphics card coolers and backplates. It's kind of like an aftermarket option. So think of it like you have your sports car and you have the stock exhaust on it, but you want to upgrade to an aftermarket exhaust. That's exactly what this is. It's a thousand times better. In this case, it provides much better cooling, much better airflow. So what my plan is to do is though, is he sent these to me, like literally he unplugged them from the rig and threw them in a box. And I thank him very much. And this is great content and I'm excited to get into it. If you enjoy cleaning GPUs, you're a special breed of miner. And that's my type of miner. So let's take a little closer look. This card is really disgusting and nothing against an honest miner. I thank you again for sending them. But there is literally layers of cake on here. I mean, look at this here. I'm trying to get my best, best shot I can in here. This card is, these cards are disgusting. So here's what I want to do. Oh, here's a great shot, actually. Let's see if I can get this angled here. There we go. See? Pretty cool, huh? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to be cleaning these today. So I need to disassemble these entirely. Uh, I'm going to put these aside and uh, I need to get down to the uh, PCB board. And we're going to be cleaning these with 99% alcohol. Um, we're actually going to be putting them in this tray and cleaning them off. We have alcohol wipes. We have more alcohol. We got little squirt bottles to help us out here. We want to clean these boards as much as possible. And then I want to put the stock coolers back on. I have to clean them too. They aren't even in good standings either. This is what uh, he had sent over to me, which I am thankful as I'm saying. I'm just pointing out here, these are crazy dirty too. So I want to put them back on the stock coolers. And I want to use ambient cooling, which is what we have in our mining room here. Plenty of ambient cooling to do the trick versus going crazy with these heat sinks. And then I need to find something to do with these, probably a future project or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this video on a fast forward with some music in the background uh, to it, um, as this is going to take me quite a while. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you're like me, I could watch this stuff for, for hours. Um, but if you do enjoy it, give it a thumbs up before we get started. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the other side of the dirtiest GPU that I've ever cleaned. Okay guys, so check this out. Like this is why these coolers are so insane. Like this is the back of your GPU, which cooling of course is important, but most of the time is pretty neglected on most GPUs out there. Look at the size 
of this thermal pad. Like, look at that. This is like $50 in a thermal pad right there. And then you have, look at the dissipators on the back here. Like these heat dissipators. It's insane. It is insane. But you can see, this is so oily. Like it's, look at that. That line is the oil line. My fingers are disgusting already. Like disgusting already. And this is all caked in oil. Uh, which I'm not surprised with the size. I mean, look how thick that pad is. It's, it's crazy. All right, let's keep this going. All right, so that came apart a thousand times faster than I thought it would, but oh my goodness, what is living in the corner of that GPU? Look at that, all the oil, not bad. Let's see here. This isn't, uh, it's all right. I mean, these cards are crazy dirty. All right, cool. So we've made good progress. So now my goal is I'm putting all this aside. We're gonna worry about that stuff another time. Now my goal is to clean this like crazy. Okay, so our initial cleaning is done. Um, it actually is turning out pretty good. I am letting it dry as I really soaked it in the 99% alcohol there, um, but looking much, much better uh, than where we were. The, um, the dye was actually really, really bad. Like that thermal paste was rough. I had to go ahead and break out. Um, I use the uh, iFixit kit uh, if you guys want, are interested. This thing is awesome. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. Uh, but one of the many things it has in it is this, um, where is it? And where did you go? Here it is, losing tools. Uh, this little pick. And you don't press hard, just a little bit, but it works perfect to get through all the little caps and stuff in there, uh, which worked out awesome. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. Um, and then my next steps are to go ahead and apply um, new thermal compound. Uh, we will be using uh, MX4 uh, as well. And uh, we do have a handful of thermal pads too that we are gonna have to apply. You can see we have lots of areas around here um, and along here that we're gonna go ahead and cover. And uh, then I do need to go ahead and get this cleaned. I'll probably do that off camera uh, to get this one cleaned and good to go. And then we'll go ahead and apply this. Okay guys, so we are set and ready to go. Uh, we are going to be using uh, some Arctic MX4. Let's see if I can get that to come up, there we go. Uh, that comes with a little paintbrush here. We're gonna use that uh, after we go ahead and put our thermal pads on. Um, the thermal pads come in these multi-packs and each pack has a variety of different thicknesses. It's got the real, real small here, like the point, uh, two five, and then it goes all the way up. You know, there's three different sizes in here, and each of these is a standalone. Um, so what I recommend you do is go ahead and look. Um, you can look some of these up to see what um, thickness thermal pad they use, or you can go ahead and get a gauge. I know like a Red Fox Crypto, he actually has a gauge. Now granted, uh, we don't have a gauge, nor were there thermal pads on here. 
other than these, this massive thick one uh, that was on the back plate that we saw. And then actually on this guy here, this guy actually was over top of the die, but there was actually no thermal pads on it. The way that this sat, this was on the die, and then the, the, I was I would have put uh, thermal pads around this unit. There were not any thermal pads on this, so I'm gonna put thermal pads here, thermal pads here, uh, thermal one thermal pad here, one over here, and then over here as well. Um, can't hurt, you know, go crazy. Uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll be ready to go ahead and. Uh, do our thermal paste. I did go ahead and do a thorough cleaning of the MSI stock heat sink here. So this is set and ready to go uh, to be installed. Okay, so we are set and good to go. We're ready to go ahead and put the stock heat sink on. We went ahead and connected uh, the fan port there. We buttered this thing up in thermal pads. We got one, two, three, four, and five finally here. And we went ahead and painted on our thermal paste of our Arctic MX4. Uh, if you guys are looking for any of this stuff, I'll put links down below in the description as well as all the stuff we used for cleaning as well. So let's go ahead and get that on. And then once that's on, uh, we'll be set and ready to throw this on our test bench. Alrighty guys, that is it. We went ahead and got the original heat sink on. This is the MSI RX 574 gig card here. Everything came together great. I'm really, really happy with it. So much cleaner. There even is a little bit of uh, stain left on here from um, the thermal pads there for the oil that I wasn't able to get off. 
Uh, but other than that, this card is now in great shape. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to mine with it. Most likely I'll throw it at Ravencoin. Uh, I do have some 470s and some 570s already. Sapphire Nitros. Uh, maybe some Ravencoin, maybe some Ergo. Uh, we'll kind of have to see where we end up uh, with it. Other than that, special thanks once again to Anonymous Miner for donating these to us. I can't wait. I have two more of these. Oh my gosh. Two more of these to do tonight, guys. So I have my work cut out for me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.